you see that? It's up from the rock ledge. Yeah, it looks like the remains of a seal carcass. It's estimated 200,000 grey seals live along the British coastline. And during mating season, it's common to see the casualties of battles between competing males. I've been all the way around this now. It's definitely an island. That is the mainland. With little food and no fresh water here, getting to the mainland is the best survival strategy. But with a life raft wreck beyond repair, you're going to have to swim. In these freezing waters, you'd need all the insulation you can get, which gives me an idea for that seal carcass. Yeah, look, you see where it's been injured? Back here. It's got bite marks as well. Probably a mating season, had a battle. Battle with it lost. The smell the meat on this is gone. But what these guys do have is an amazing ability to survive in really cold water. And that's because of its skin and a thick layer of blubber underneath. Might well be able to make some sort of wetsuit out of that. It's gonna help me on this swim across there. Okay, let's try. Swim without any protection in these waters, and you'd reach exhaustion and eventually unconsciousness in around an hour. And then you see that whole thick layer full of fat and blubber there. That's from trying to separate from the main carcass. I should get my hand right in there. I need to be so careful doing this, I don't put a nick in the actual skin itself. OK. And look, you see you're left with that head hole, place to put my arms. The Vikings in this area of Scotland use seal hide to make rope, clothing, even sleeping bags to protect against the cold winters. It's going to be a bit of a squeeze. Well, that is the ultimate seal skin wetsuit. I've done everything I can now to face a long, cold swim in these frigid Atlantic waters. Keep swimming hard. Snug fit. Man versus Wild, Thursdays at 9, starting February 17th, followed by Out of the Wild, only on Discovery.